it be great if you could find the classes you want when you need them? Pasadena City College offers the classes that fit your busy schedule. Classes are only $46 a unit, and financial aid is available for those who qualify. Late spring classes begin May 13th, and summer classes start June 22nd. Go to pasadena.edu forward slash enroll now for more information. Pasadena City College. Access success. PCC Today Show. I'm speaking right now with Tamika Alexander from Outreach Transfer. Wait, I totally did that wrong. Outreach, Outreach Degree, Degree Transfer. <laughs> and she's the organizer of today's event. Uh, this is uh, University Day, College Day. All the students come out and they talk to colleges to see where they might transfer. So, how did this all get started? Well, actually, Dina Chase, who is the interim director of admissions and records and outreach degree and transfer, has been doing this for many, many years. And PCC has actually done a great job in getting the university reps to come and talk with PCC students. In the fall, we have tons of our you know, California CSUs, UCs, but we have quite a few private schools that are really looking to admit those students who are not getting into the Cal State or UC. Oh wow, so what's the success rate people get in recruited, taken up by these universities and colleges? Well, we're excited that PCC is one of the top transfer institutions, so we're right in the top five um, in the number of students who transfer on to the Cal State so We're excited. Awesome. Is there anything you'd like to say for those students out there looking to transfer, looking to leave PCC? Definitely <laughs> stop in the transfer center so that you can make sure if there's any new dates and deadlines that have changed, you'll get the latest information and many of these university reps will meet with you one-on-one -on -one in the transfer center so stop by L1. Thank you so much Tamika. So we're gonna leave you guys with a montage of students talking about their plans for the future where they might transfer their majors and hopefully that all goes well for them. Thanks guys. We'll be back right after this. Hi, my name is Irving. I want to study business and I want to go to Cal State Northridge. My name is Angel and I don't know what school I want to major go in, but I do want to major in biology and medicine. Hi, and my name is Michael Rockmore. Um, I'm currently a student here at PCC and my major is Spanish uh, with an emphasis on teaching. Not completely sure yet whether or not I want to teach, but I know I want to go into Spanish and I'm looking to possibly transfer to UC Irvine. Hi, my name is uh, Pedro Chang and I I am a student at PCC. Um, I'm currently majoring in business administration and I want to transfer, hopefully, to Wharton Business School or Columbia University. My name is Brianna Makarath. Um, I want to go to Santa Cruz, UC Santa Cruz, but I have a triple major, so uh, it's kind of complicated. I don't know what my major is yet. All right, I'm Lamont Alipin. Oh, okay. I'd like to study uh, criminal justice at uh, Cal State LA. Hi, I'm Pedro Castro. I'm a music major. I plan to transfer to Long Beach, Fullerton, um, either USC, New England, or Juilliard. My name is Yasmira Batista. I'm a bio major, and I plan on going to UCLA to become a pediatrician.
you to our kickoff lunch for Black History Month. My name is Beverly Tate. I'm the coordinator for College Diversity Initiative on campus. It's just such a joy to be here together uh, on this day to kick off Black History Month. And the other thing that uh, Black History Month finally comes uh, to me and to all of us is as a blessing. And there's all sorts of ways of offering a blessing. And I'm going to offer one from, from August Wilson uh, today. There's a, one of his uh, great plays, Joe Turner's Come and Gone. Most of his plays are set in Pittsburgh, uh, where Wilson grew up. And this, is, uh, this play is set in uh, the early uh, 19-teens, about 100 years ago. Joe Turner's Come and Gone. That's all you need in this world is love and laughter. That's all anybody needs to have love in one hand and laughter in the other. There's something that occurred for me last week, which really sort of brought home this month. Uh, we all had the uh, distinct joy of watching Barack Obama get inaugurated again as the 44th President of the United States. Uh, and we. <laughs> and uh, when I think about it, I realize that uh, this nation has come a long way because I was sitting with my 89-year-old mother watching that. And my mother went into tears because she said that she would never have imagined in her life that she would ever have seen a Negro elected president of the United States. Okay? Uh, and I got kind of reflective because I realized I don't know if I'll ever see that again in my lifetime or if my two young sons, who are 10 and 13 respectively, if they'll ever see that again. So this nation has come a long way, but it's a, it's a benchmark point in our history when we think of that level of accomplishment. Now I stand here, and as I stand here, ladies and gentlemen, I clearly recognize I am standing on the shoulders of a great many people who went in front of me, a lot of men and women who went in front of me who gave me the opportunity to stand here now. What we do this next month in black history is about celebrating their contributions, about what it means to making this a stronger overall community, not just at Pasadena City College, not just in the state or in this nation, but worldwide. Good afternoon, my name is Jonathan Reed. Hi, my name is Kylan Craig, and I'm the Vice President of the UGMA Board. And I'm a part of the Public Relations team. And uh, first, we wanna have UGMA stand so we can recognize UGMA. Can all UGMA stand, please? And we'd like to recognize Ms. Gina Lopez, Ms. Armia Walker, and Dr. Price for their work in Ujima and everything they've done. And okay, so we're going to um, go ahead and announce to you some of the Ujima events that are going to be taking place in February. Um, first on the list is the Ladies Lancers basketball game Ujima Night is hosting. And uh, we have a great presentation ready for you guys to see. I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy it. Uh, next on the list is the Kabasa African Sorry. Drummers. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That'll be February 6th for Ujima Night, uh, Lancers Lens Basketball, next week on Wednesday. And February 7th, we have Kabasa African Drummers in the quad at noon, so please make sure you guys are there for that. It's going to be a great presentation. And February 14th, we have performance by Jiminelle Rollins, also in the quad at noon, and that is February 14th again. Um, on February 19th, we have um, the Ujima versus Faculty basketball game, and that's a really big event for us this month. Last year, Dr. Rocha and Dr. Bell were the referees, so you should come out. <laughs> All of our events are going to be fun to watch and lovely and really celebrate African American Heritage Month. Thank you. Available to us today are more opportunities, technology, and resources than we have ever, ever, ever had before. It is absolutely imperative that we recognize the blood, sweat, and tears that were shed for us to be where we are today. We should take nothing for granted and, and use these blessings to further improve our black community and the world as a whole. What I have taken and understood from these great leaders is that every day is a new day, and every day we are either making progress in our community or allowing setbacks. Thank you very much and God bless.
to let you guys know what a privilege it is to address you, number one. Number two, I've had the ride of a lifetime. Now, you can read about it in my book, which you should do. But before I started, because I'm so good at speaking extemporaneously, I've been doing this since I was 15, uh, speaking extemporaneously, that I'll talk about anything forever. And I just want to make sure that I address what you're concerned with. So could three of you stand up and tell me what you'd like for me to talk about? I was given a topic, but I want to make sure that I'm responding to you. Three of you. Put some hands up. Who has the guts to stand up and say, Connie, talk about this? Huh? Yes. What would you like for me to talk about? Okay, she wants me to talk about what we can do for violence reduction and how we stem the murder of African American and Latino boys. So she wants me to talk about the gang violence work and how it can apply to what's in your own backyard. That sound like a good topic? <laughs> Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. How about the indifference that has kept us from moving forward in life? Well, the fact that you guys are here at this lecture means you're not indifferent because there are a lot of things you could be doing, including eating a hero sandwich, rather than being here. So I think that there's a whole room full of folks who are not indifferent, but it's a very good topic. Because there does feel like there's indifference, doesn't there? Because we don't seem to solve these problems. But I'm here to tell you there's nothing that can't be solved. And I come from a place where doesn't matter how big the problem is, if you give me that mission, it's going to get done one way or another. And you might not like the way I do it, but my whole life has been about take a look at a problem. Don't think about it's too big or I'm too small. Or, I don't even, those thoughts don't even enter my mind. I don't know why. I think there's something wrong with me. I, I think I needed therapy, but I'm 60, and it's too late now. <laughs> and when I was younger, I was too obtuse. I really, really just didn't pay attention to my limitations. And that's actually a problem, but it ends up being an asset when you're doing battle. Because if you're not worried about what you can and can't do, and you just do it, you'll be surprised at what you get done. And my book is about the fearless warrior that I am. Um, I am fearless, and it can get me in trouble. That's the thing about being fearless, is that you don't think about the fact that you're about to get rototilled. You don't think about the fact that you're taking on a billion dollar corporation. You don't think about the fact, <laughs> you know, all these things that are arrayed against you. You shouldn't be able to do this because you don't have this. You shouldn't be able to because you don't have any money. You shouldn't be able to because you don't have any political power. You shouldn't be it doesn't occur to me. It's kind of like, oh, I represent these kids. These kids are in danger. Guess what? They're going to be safe. OK, what do I need to do to make them safe? Oh, I have to win this lawsuit. OK, we'll do that. Then after that, after you win the lawsuit, you actually have to win the remedy. Never enough to win the lawsuit. You have to win the remedy. And then when you win the remedy, you have to win the arena in which the remedy is going to be taken to town, right, to be made real, right? You have to kind of control each of these arenas. And each control strategy requires that, a specific strategy, right? And since what you're up against is other folks who have power and don't want to share it, guess what? It's perfectly doable. They don't know that you're not going to give up. And that's my other secret. Once I decide a problem is mine to solve, I don't leave until it's solved. And with LAPD, when they realized, oh my god, it's been 20 years and she still won't go away, they realized I wasn't going anywhere because the police are central to safety. And therefore, I was insisting that they behave in a certain way. And when they realized I wasn't leaving, they gave up. 
they gave up and they married me. Your sound is faultless, pure, and round, holy, almost profound. Your sound is your sound. True and from within, a confession, soulful and lovely.
poet whose sound is played, lost, or recorded, but heard. Can you recall the 54 night at the open door when you and Bird wailed at 5 a.m. some wondrous yet unimaginable score? Great if you could find the classes you want when you need them? Pasadena City College offers the classes that fit your busy schedule. Classes are only $46 a unit, and financial aid is available for those who qualify. Late spring classes begin May 13th, and summer classes start June 22nd. Go to pasadena.edu forward slash enroll now for more information. Pasadena City College. Access success. I say, I say. 